and it is working. <laughs> I was thinking, oh no, am I going to have a struggle today with trying to get Mass Effect to work and record? But uh, fortunately, yeah, it did work. Um, so yeah, let's go get back here again. You know, the um, the effects are back in town. The effects are back in town. But yeah, um, back again. Don't know how long we're going to record today, but we're going to have a go of it. Good old go of it. Um, I'm sure I was meant to do something up there at some point before. Or maybe am I thinking into the future? Probably. But yeah, um, we're here today. Um, I don't know how much of the main quest we can get done. Depends how quickly um, side quests do. Um, but um, I will probably cut bits out. Because the amount of running, it's just not for me. And I just cannot remember exactly where I am meant to go. Um, but first, let's just um, advance the main quest. Yeah. Commander Anderson, my eyes, they've seen things, horrible things. <laughs> I have a boo boo. Come on. <laughs> Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. <sighs> And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Another traitor? Oh my god. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. <sighs> we think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved that you betrayed the council. Did the same All mistake again? Uh... Using the gas to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. <coughs> the Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is took like three to games to, um, you know, finally admit, like, oh god, um, the Reapers are real. But until that bit, um, they're just gonna, you know, we're gonna be, you know, dealing with copium at the highest degree. I've seen them! 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. 
We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Oh, this is one of the cool bits of it. I'm ready. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Ooh. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. The Spectres are an idea, Ooh. a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, <clears throat> today. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find it. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> He's like, Anderson, you come with me. I need all your help to set this up. Thank you from the ambassador. <laughs> Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Oh, we got some Spectre training bonuses. I just wish they had a, a bit where it's like a montage where you have Shepard walk around going, gonna get a montage. Start running around. Oh no, I've already done that. Oh, damn. He's going on a montage. Oh, I really wish mods would work with this game. I, oh, you know, unlimited sprint. That's all I'd, I'd really help. You know, just I just added stuff that would have made it nicer. You know, funner. But this no, game is like... No. No, we don't want to work. We don't want to work. We just want to be a pain. And I want to go like, why don't you want to work? Don't you want to work? Oh, okay. oh my god, it's Gareth! I'm on a break. Mm. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. That's right. Maybe I can help. Mm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Sometimes. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse, and that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would... Privateers, attack? slavers, merc... I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Nice. Um, as you can tell, Gary Barlow over there, he was just... Um Messing about. Oh, just got a notification on my watch. It's be like, look, 50% off the Uber and when it comes to veg. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god, what is going on? And why do people ring me when I'm trying to record? It's pretty rude. It's not nice. It's 
sorry about that. It's quite rude. But yeah, um, let's try and get a few quests sorted today. And then um, we can, um, you know, get on to it. How are you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. I can't get over how grossly pale my character is. <laughs> it literally looks like he's got like a vitamin deficiency. It's like, I am Commander Shepard. And I've, and I've got a, um, a vitamin deficiency. Oh, why? Oh, no. I told you before, you're not allowed in here. I told you before, you're not allowed in here. Privy, be careful. Oh, yes, um, I will be playing Dark Souls 3 soon. Um, I'm going to stream it because, um, the amount of editing that would be needed for me to, um, you know, dial back down the absolute, you know, magnitude of skill I have in Dark Souls. It'd be too much. Um, hey you, privy be careful. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Yo, this guy wants to go to the disco! Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. The truth? Let me talk to the CSEC officer. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. I am Just not I unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. I think you should let the Hanar. The Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the law. Why should the jellies them. get special treatment? <laughs> that is just mean. Jelly, what am I to you? Um, that is just the perfect sign that um, my charm and that is all broken. It doesn't work. It's like um, tomato paste. It just doesn't want to work. Yes, a lot of walking. I'm not quite happy with this. Oh, here he is. Hello. Strained greeting, human. This is I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. Not I'm true. Look at this. Confused. Re anxious request. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my bolus compatriot. <laughs> what was that? Should I just go, oh no, I left the stove on, I better start running. Um, but let's just, uh, uh, without the sprint button, it really is just painful, so we're going to teleport everywhere. Please do not be alarmed. This is a teleportation device. Ba 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 
Hello. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are <laughs> and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Jaira. Thank you. Never underestimate. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have what is it? a small mystery. And now I must ask you to remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Yes, because affirmations just give you super strength. I mean, if I go on YouTube now, if I, all the affirmations, you know, I'll feel super strong. I'll own the world. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to quickly stop this for a second. But yes, it might be a quick cut onto that. But yeah, see you in a second.